Hello everyone, I'm Albert Bevio with Spain on a Fork. Today we're going to make a rice that's very similar to a seafood paella, arroz negro. This rice is very popular throughout the Mediterranean coast and it gets its distinct color from squid ink. It has a complex and stunning flavor and I'm going to show you an easy way to make it. If this is your first time watching my channel, I encourage you to click on that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cut up all of our ingredients. So let's begin by finely mincing thigh garlic. Now let's finely dice half of a large onion. Let's grab a red bell pepper and let's cut it into small thin strips. Okay, for the last ingredient we need to cut, I have one clean tube of squid I'm going to cut into small pieces. You can usually find these tubes of squid at your local Asian market. Okay, next let's grab a paella pan and let's heat it with a medium heat. If you don't have a paella pan, you can use any type of large frying pan. And let's add about half a cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil to the pan. And once our oil gets hot, let's season it with some sea salt and let's add our finely diced onions. And about three minutes after adding our onion, let's add our finely minced garlic and our red bell pepper. Okay, it's been about five minutes since we added the garlic and the red bell pepper to the pan. Now let's make a well in the middle and let's add our calamari. Okay, in about two minutes after adding our calamari, let's go ahead and season our ingredients with half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and some sea salt. And let's mix it all together. Now let's add half a cup of tomato puree and some fresh parsley. another pinch of sea salt and let's mix it all together. Okay, it's been about three minutes since we added the tomato puree to the pan. Now let's add one cup of ground rice. Now let's add about a quarter ounce of squid ink. Again, you can find this at your local Asian market. Next, let's add about a quarter cup of white wine and let's mix everything together. Once all the wine has evaporated into the rice, let's crank up the heat to a medium high and let's add about two and a quarter cups of water. Unlike risotto, paella does not need to be stirred once the water is added. Instead, we're going to create little pockets to distribute the rice evenly throughout the pan. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since we added the rice to the pan. At this point, let's lower our fire to a low heat and let's let it sit. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since we lowered our fire to a low heat and our rice looks like it's perfectly cooked. So let's go ahead and remove it from the heat and let's cover it and let it rest for about five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes since we covered our rice. So let's go ahead and uncover it. Now let's garnish it with some slices of lemon. And there's our final dish of arroz negro. If you enjoyed today's video on making this Mediterranean rice dish, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos. Until the next time, hasta luego.